You might have heard the term Web 3.0 or Web 3 being thrown around lately. What does it mean? Will it be the new internet? What's so special about it? How is it different from Web 2.0? In this video, we're going to dive deep into Web 3.0 as well as how the blockchain, the DAO, and the metaverse fit in it. If you like to stay updated on all things crypto, make sure you click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for all the latest crypto updates. Let's begin. Web 3.0 or Web 3 is the next evolution of the internet that utilizes blockchain technology, promoting decentralized protocols and token-based economics. There are a few early stage Web 3 applications that already exist, such as Polkadot, Filecoin, Brave Browser, Ethereum Name Service, and Steam. But how are they different from applications like AWS, Chrome, and PayPal that exist on Web 2.0? To better understand the advantages and also the potential dangers of Web3, let's take a step back and revisit the World Wide Web that came before. If you are old enough to live through the 1990s, you might remember the first version of the internet known as Web 1.0. At that time, you couldn't do much on the internet except reading and publishing very basic content. It was essentially just Wikipedia with links to web pages. This is why Web 1.0 was also known as the read-only web. Then came Web 2.0 in 2004. It's known as the read and write version of the internet, which is a reference to a computer code that lets you both open and edit files instead of just viewing them. This is the version of the internet you're familiar with today. Not only can you consume content, but you also can create and publish your own content on various sites like Tumblr, Blogspot, Etsy, and Craigslist. And in recent years, social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram have made content creation more advanced and extensive. Through text, emojis, images, and videos, the sky is truly the limit when expressing creativity. While Web 2.0 seems to bring about many benefits to the user with various free services, many people have become uncomfortable knowing that their privacy is being violated. You see, tech giants like Google, Amazon, and Facebook collect and sell your personal data to advertising agencies. This is made explicit each time you visit a website. The main purpose is to better tailor ads and marketing campaigns to you. This is how tech giants make profit and are able to keep their platforms free for you to use. Some people may see this as a good thing as they won't see irrelevant or uninteresting ads, but others would like to maintain their privacy and have more control over their data. So this is where Web3 comes in. Tim Berners-Lee, the inventor of the World Wide Web, envisioned Web3 as a semantic web. This would mean that machines are able to understand data contextually and conceptually, just like the human brain. Consider these two phrases. I love CoinGecko. Well, they are written differently, one with the word love spelled out and the other using a symbol, the meaning being conveyed is the same. This is where Berners-Lee wanted Web3 to be a program that understands all data, applying semantics and solving issues with optimization through artificial intelligence. However, this is currently not the case. The initial idea of Web3 has not materialized due to the overestimation of machine learning and lack of implementation. Instead, blockchain technology is paving the way for Web3. Rather than being controlled by governments and corporations, as is the case with Web2, applications on Web3 are decentralized. This means that data is stored in a way that is only ever the control of the person who owns it, even if it happens to be stored on a server owned by a corporation. Blockchain technology ensures that data is encrypted and stored in multiple distribution centers. Due to the decentralized nature of Web3, it's possible to be more than just consumers or customers. With enough tokens or cryptocurrencies, you can also become shared stakeholders of a decentralized network and have a say over how things should be run. You may also be part of a decentralized autonomous organization or DAO. A DAO is a loosely organized collective with a flat hierarchical structure. It is bound by rules and regulations coded into a blockchain. While shareholders can vote on change on prices or how things are governed, no individual can actually change the encoded rules without permission, not even those who own the servers. As such, DAOs eliminate the need for centralized command or middlemen like bankers, accountants, lawyers, and landlords. The power of decentralized Web3 lies in the hands of the people. What about the metaverse? While Web3 is the meat and bones of the internet, the metaverse is its skin. 
Instead of a 2D user interface, the metaverse uses technologies like VR and AR for a more immersive, social, and persistent version of the internet. While it is not a necessity for the development of Web3, the metaverse could potentially provide a more interactive experience for users to engage with Web3 applications. But that may be years in the making. For now, Web3 is still evolving. While there may be benefits in terms of privacy and having complete ownership of data, the current Web3 has its flaws. According to some experts, decentralization may make it more difficult to regulate activities, which may lead to an increase in cybercrime and online abuse. What's more, ownership and control may still be centralized as venture capitalists and financiers hoard the token and become the main shareholders. The technology is simply not ready to support the fair and decentralized future that people imagine it to be. So how would Web3 look in the coming years? Well, it's more likely that you would have the ability to buy things like Amazon products using MetaMask or support someone's content directly with your wallet. More decentralized platforms would gradually be built and grown until centralized companies are forced to disassemble by legislator and replaced with decentralized unregulated DAOs. The choice is in your hands. If you find this content useful, be sure to subscribe to CoinGecko and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on all things crypto. We'll see you in the next video.